So I think this situation here is pretty much just proof of how ridiculous Twitter cancel culture actually is. I mean, they'll literally cancel anyone. They canceled J. Cole, probably one of the most respected people of the last decade, and they just cancel him overnight on Twitter for one song. I mean, it's crazy. They'll just stone people to death for the most minute things. And the craziest part about this whole situation is what he's actually getting canceled for. Because, you know, if you're going to cancel J. Cole, at least have a good reason for it. But as we're going to see later in the video, that's not really how Twitter cancel culture functions. You know, they don't really cancel people for like good reasons or anything like that. That's not really a possibility because that's actually reasonable and would take some kind of, I guess, thought and brain activity, which is just not what cancel culture functions on. So the reason that J. Cole has been getting canceled on Twitter for the last, I guess, 12 to 15 hours now, it all started when he dropped this song last night. You know, th there's the first cardinal sin, I guess. That's what started this whole thing off. And as you can see, he just dropped this surprise song called Snow on the Bluff. At the time I'm recording this, it's been up for, like I said, less than 12 hours now, and it's at almost a million views, and it's number three on trending. It'll probably hit number one on trending today. I wouldn't be surprised at all. That wouldn't really come as a shocker. It's J. Cole. But one thing that's pretty interesting here to me is the fact that the like to dislike ratio here is 151,000 likes to 1,000 dislikes. And then when you go on Twitter, it's a, it's a wildly different story. You know, it's like we're living on two different Earths here almost. Like the people on Twitter and YouTube are almost on two different like internets. It's almost like Twitter cancel culture just kind of lives in their own little echo chamber of trying to end people's careers for no reason. And then the second you step foot out of Twitter, pretty much nobody agrees with them because everything they say is just ridiculous. Now in this new song, J. Cole addresses some tweets from this rapper No Name, which is pretty much what really got Twitter in this whole frenzy because he's not allowed to respond to people, I guess. Even though, as you're gonna see, he did it in like the most respectful manner I've ever seen anybody respond to someone in. Because as you can see here, he says, my IQ is average. There's a young lady out there. She's smarter than me. I scrolled through her timeline in these wild times and I started to read. And I'm not gonna like break down the lyrics to the entire song here, but he addresses the tweets here and he even calls her a queen. Like he's being as respectful as possible, but Twitter still found some way to twist it against him. So here's one of the main tweets that J. Cole was responding to in this new song. This was a tweet from No Name and as J. Cole said in the new song, he feels like this was directed towards him, at least in some capacity. And she's pretty much saying that some of these top selling rappers aren't even tweeting about some of the situations that are going on in the world. And this was actually something a lot of people were tweeting about at the time, which is kind of wild to me. He was actually getting a ridiculous amount of hate at the time on Twitter because of the fact that he wasn't tweeting enough about the stuff going on in Minnesota until a couple days later when pictures started to surface of J. Cole actually at the protests in person. So instead of like a lot of people just tweeting about this kind of stuff, he was actually doing something and going to the protests in person. Now, J. Cole has been pretty much trending all day on Twitter for this whole situation. And if you click on it, it's ridiculous some of the hate that he's getting. It's like, I guess people just have nothing better to do with their time and they just jump at the opportunity to attack someone on social media. Like, here's a good example of what these tweets are. J. Cole is a weirdo for that. I don't care what none of y'all say. That dude is canceled. Point blank, period. Like, like, what is he canceled for? Because he responded to someone who kind of, like, attacked him on Twitter? Are people just that bored staying home that they just want anything to cancel someone for that they're gonna cancel J. Cole? Now, J. Cole pretty much woke up to this whole situation saying that he got canceled on Twitter by all of these weirdos, and he responded in pretty much the best way possible. He didn't, like, back down to all these people and, you know, forfeit. He just simply tweeted, Morning, I stand behind every word of that song that I dropped last night. Which, I mean, honestly, I wouldn't expect anything less from J. Cole. I would never expect in a million years for him to, like, back down and apologize to all these people. I could never really see him making some kind of, like, twit longer or notes app screenshot apology just because he got canceled by some weirdos with too much time on their hands. But anyway, that's where we're gonna wrap up this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. We're almost to 2,500 subscribers, so definitely subscribe if you're new. And as always, you can follow me on Twitter at RelexYT. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.